Okay, y'all. So to all my friends, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Um, stay tuned because I will be doing a video today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of cooking and just venting and letting y'all know what's really going on inside of a queen's mind. Um, I appreciate all of my supporters and for the people that don't, fuck you. And let me also tell y'all something about me. Oh my God, I got to take this hair out my head, y'all. It's a pinup and it's my long hair, but anyways. Um, for the people with negative comments towards my gift that God, that my father, like my Mickey Mouse, like my Barney, like anything, like you can get your ass off my page because my gifts made me, like my talents made me. And watch, your talents and your gifts that God bless you with will make room for you. So just because I curse and, and do a little bit of this, a little of that every now and then, you know what I'm saying? That does not mean that God is not working on me. So with that being said, just stay tuned because I got some things to show you guys, teach you guys, and I'm also going to be talking about shit. So get prepared. You heard Okay, okay, okay. So, I bet you're wondering what we're gonna talk about today. So, I am giving you guys one of my recipes. It's gonna be my banganini. Um, it's kind of like a panini dish, but the shit is made. But anyways, um, what you wanna do is first get some, well, I used chicken breast, boneless chicken breast and skinless breast. Um, they're called tenderloins and what I did was bake them. I like to soak mine overnight. That way, when you cut into them, they are like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really, really tender. And the next steps, okay? And then we're gonna walk you through cooking the panini or whatever pasta that I use, pasta noodles, pasta, whatever that I use. We are on a vegetable path. So we're gonna add vegetables in our alfredo, okay? So it's gonna be banging, Chicken Alfredo Queen. So, family meat. I'll tell you guys, like, I've been eating chicken wings this early in the morning, so my nails are red. But, anyways, you don't need to be worrying about that. You need to be worrying about cooking this banganini, okay? And enjoying it with your family or by yourself with a glass of red wine or Pinot Grigio or something like that. Sangria. How you want to do it? <laughs> let's, let's go! I'm also going to gossip a little bit about my life and what's going on in it. So just listen and vibe, okay? If you're not vibing with me, you can politely hit those three dots. Not interested in the Dozzy Hearts channel. And you can get the fuck off my line. And yeah, I'm going to be vulgar in my videos today. So get prepared because um, I'm me. God's still working on me. And he knows the steps that I am to take. So it's if you listen or you bye-bye, bye-bye. Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you guys. So like some freaking idiot got into my comments on my latest video with me and my dad going to church talking about for me to grow up about my voices and this and the third. I'm 32 and my voice is made me. My talents are gonna make ways for me. So what are you doing with your one subscriber, your one supporter? Like I'm making a way for myself. I might be little, no, no, wait, let me say that again. Little is much when God is and very few there be that find me. So if you're lucky to stumble upon my page, upon watching me and this, that, and the third, you're gonna watch major transformations for me. And I don't need nobody to vindicate anything that I'm doing. God gave me my gifts, baby, you heard me. And I don't give a damn, you can click off my Dozzy Heart channel. Ugh. I'm gonna show you guys my cooking video later. And yeah, I'm sitting outside, so you can use water. I don't like bugs, I don't like why. None of that. Everything gets quiet. You heard me. But um, yeah, you have somebody that's doing a lot better than you are on their page. To me, I feel like that is what makes you a hater, and you just make yourself more obvious of being a hater when you comment negativity on people that's out here doing something for themselves. Like, fuck off. Okay, so like I know y'all gonna get these people back. I'm gonna put the ingredients on this. You gotta use the cheap brand that I use, but. It hurts. Family dollar, a dollar, you can get one of those. If you're just a single parent, you two packs, they're a dollar each. You heard me. I'm like frugal right now because I'm trying to get me a car and like other shit. I'm trying to get my own house and all that. Yeah. So get this. It's a cheaper brand instead. It'll suffice. And y'all, I'm hot as you. you heard me. Let me switch this camera around to show y'all what's next. Let's go! That way, that way your chicken is okay, like this. So like Broccoli and panini noodles. I already showed you guys the box. And I, like I said, I like to cook my chicken overnight. That way, it's, okay, so like, that way, it's, 
That way your chicken is okay, like Okay, so it. like, I put broccoli and panini noodles. I already showed you guys the box. And I, like I said, I like to cook my chicken overnight. That way it's... Okay, so like... Okay, so like, what? Okay, so like, what? Okay, so like, what? Okay, so like, what? So for my handicapped people, yeah, all of that, all of that, he with the program because I don't like that negativity. You come on my channel, my voice is in about how I used to grow up. This is just your channel. You wasn't blessed. You weren't blessed with the voices and the abilities that I have. I wasn't blessed with yours. So you can get, you can get your ass. And uh, yeah, <laughs> but anyways, I did cook my banganini and um, I'm gonna turn the camera so that you guys can see what I cooked, okay? Um, and of course, and of course, I had to let y'all hear the last thing on my phone listen. I might not bleep this part out. Chicken and 
Try the banganini, it's really good. Um, it's not too salty. Also, for you non mm. when you boil your water for your panini noodles, make it a cap full and a half in your water that's boiling, along with some salt, so that it'll catch in the noodles. And that way you won't have to season your chicken or the other items, you know, overdo it. But yeah, so put a little sand if you want to, to add some pepper in here. I've never done it, but I'm quite sure it won't hurt. But this chicken, hold on, chicken banganini is really chicken alfredo banganini. We said banganini, hold on. Man, I can't get it right. Like, what the F, man? What the fuck, man? This is chicken and broccoli alfredo banganini. You heard me. Go check it out. Like, I put the ingredients that I use in it. And I'm sure it's going to be really good to you, too. What? 